CFR Gord here, helping you out with another episode of How Hard Could It Be? Today, we got a board ski 2.0 bracket. I'm going to show you how to put it on the Link It Up 2.0. All right, let's get in this and see how hard could it be. Come on, get out of here. All right, so what we got here, we have a rear bracket and we have a front bracket. It says they're right on the bottom, in case you forget. Two straps, strap saver, this is for your snowboards. Stomp pad, this is for your sled, so where your skis are gonna be rubbing on there. Doesn't scratch up your nice turbo or whatever sled you have, non-turbo, you should have a turbo, but anyway. Cord likes it fast. And then you have these two sets of hardware for getting your straps on. So, let's see how hard could it be. For this, you are going to need, gosh darn it, I've Miss, oh, there's my auntie. Never mind. So you need a, what is this, 530, 530 seconds Allen key and uh, 7 sixteenths wrench and, well, is this a wrench or a ratchet? Anyway, wrench, ratchet, 7 sixteenths, and let's see how hard could it be. All right, now, got all my hardware off and she's ready to go on the bracket. Sorry about the planing back there. Foon's over there making some skis, but hopefully you can still hear me. All right now, I got all the hardware off my brackets so they're ready to go on the rack. Let's see how hard could it be. Uh, I'm gonna start with the rear bracket here. And uh, so what you need is your little set screw. This screw's just gonna hold the bracket in place so you can get it, get it all set up how you like. There's a little hole here at the back. Get that in there. Ready to receive the bracket. Get on there, not too tight, just enough it holds it. You can still move it around, so. That's how I want it, and then set screw for the front one here. Now there's three holes up here, but we recommend just for general setups, you wanna start with that top hole. And then if you just find that you need a little more adjustment once you have it on your slide, you can always change it after. But this is sort of the general setup that works for most people. So, got that set screw. Now we want our carriage bolts, these little guys, they're gonna go right in this slot back there. There you go, in your home. New home on the bracket. There we go. Get these black capped nuts on. Just loosely. Oh, gotta get them in the front too. Can't put the nut on if the bolt's not in there. That's life advice for you. There we go, get these all set up. Almost there. Dog's crowning in the background. He's mad. I almost missed that bolt in there. All right. So now these are set. Now is when you can kind of adjust to make sure they're straight, going right where you want them. Yeah, that's looking good. Seven sixteenths wrench. Get her on there. Not too tight. I'm gonna get into Newtons again. I don't know. Let's call her twelve Newtons. Well, right? Kind of like that, you know? It ain't that hard. Look at it. Even a monkey like me can do it. All right. Now those are snug. You can get this back bolt and just snug her up again. So that's going to help it just stay nice and tight there. It's not going to move around when you're ripping. Ripping your new sled or your old sled, whatever you're putting her on. Put on a motorcycle, I don't care. Um, so now we're gonna put on our straps. Uh, the front strap gets your strap saver. That's gonna work with your snowboard so you don't wreck, don't wreck, your, uh, wreck your strap, saves the strap. That's gonna go across there. Uh, this one goes on the back, so that's what these bolts are for. All right, now we got the brackets set on there. We're gonna work on the straps. So what you can do is you can set it on your sled, get your board in there, figure out where the straps are gonna work, and then, you know, you can go from there. So you have adjustability. This is where we're mounting it, so you got, look at all that, look at all that adjustability. All right, so for our board, I usually go three holes on the front, got my washer in there, slip this bolt in there. Now, you can see it's just poking out there, which gives you enough room to slip that washer on there, and 
and get that nut to start it. Oh, she's a little tricky. This is the hardest part. This is as hard as it could be. There we go. All right, now that's in there. So now we can get our little Allen key there on the back. And then this hole should be big enough to fit a socket. I don't know though. Oh, look at that. There we go. And just snug that up. Now in terms of how tight this could be, you want it tight enough, it's not loose. But you don't want it too tight, you can't move this strap around. It's hard. You don't want that. Oh, it smells, it seems like it's going forever. All right, there we go. That feels about right. Yeah, not too tight, but still moving around. So then we got our ski set up. Strap saver to the side, put that out of the way. And we're gonna set up our back one. Once again, for the generic setup, we're gonna just have two holes at the top. Set this up right in there. Look at that, oh, drop the washer. That on there, get her nut started. Mm. Hopefully this one doesn't take as long. That last one felt like I was wrenching for hours. Anyways, I'm just getting frustrated because I want to get out and get skiing. I know what you guys are saying, skiing, you should try snowboarding. I know, I know. I just I don't like being sideways to be honest. All right, there we go. Now, how hard was that? So, here you have your ski set up. Do to do, two straps. Now, normally, then you want to switch to snowboard. You can flip this guy back. Flip this guy back. Ratchet it to your ski strap. So this this one is just going to have to flop back there. And there's your snowboard set up. That being on your edge. Now, how hard was that? I don't think it was that hard. I gave it about five out of ten. Anyways, CFR Gord here, we'll catch you next time. I'm going skiing. Have a good day.